Okay, 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 okay. Now let's talk about Dejanay Carrington of the Connecticut Sun. But before we get started, I want to thank y'all for tuning in to the Gertie Mac Show, taking y'all time to subscribe to my channel, liking and sharing the videos. I really appreciate all of that. Now let's go. Now, Dejanay Carrington, let's talk about her of the Connecticut Suns. Now, Connecticut Suns took on the Los Angeles Sparks. Now, Dijanae character, you don't know, uh, I want to say allegedly her girlfriend, I don't know what their relationship is, plays for the Indiana Fever, Nalissa Smith. So, you know, Dijanae character has been in the news before for stuff that she didn't been vocal about. And people try to, you know, paint a certain picture about her. But at the end of the day, she's a baller and she express how she feel without holding back. It is what it is. And they got the W. It was 69 to 61. It was a low scoring game, but it was a good game. Um, but here's what's really the topic of discussion about this game. This game was played in Boston at the um, stadium where the Boston Celtics play TD Garden. This was the first time ever in history that a WNBA game was held and played at Boston Celtics TD Garden. Everybody was there. Boston Celtics player came out, Jason Tatum, uh, uh, Holiday, all of them was in attendance in support of this game. But here's the thing, though. This game was sold out. Yes, it wasn't no Indiana Fever. Caden Clark was nowhere near the building. She was a long way, like long distance phone call. But the thing about it is this. A lot of people didn't promote it. The WNBA didn't promote it. And DeJanae Carrington actually called out the WNBA for this. Now, this is what I want to say before people get to start talking. This is what Caitlin Clark wanted for the WNBA. She wanted growth. And in order for the WNBA to grow, other teams going to have to bring in a crowd other than just when Caitlin Clark is there. You're going to have to have games that are selling out, packed like a can of sardines. Just when other teams playing. This is Connecticut Sun and Los Angeles Sparks. No Caitlin Clark and Dana Fever. So this is actually good. This is what you need. If y'all only going to wait to go to games when Caitlin Clark is playing, then how's the WNBA is going to grow if it doesn't disseminate other to other teams? Now, did you know Caitlin Clark say she don't hold back? She don't sugarcoat nothing like a candy bar. She said this. Since we got to do our own promo, we're playing at the TD Garden tonight and it's sold out 19K plus. First WNBA game here ever. Historic. Not on TV, but you can catch it right here on Twitter. And we're going to talk about that. But let's um, check out the videos of some of the crowd at the game and also check out DJ Nate character in post game interview. Basically responding and talking about the promotion, lack of promotion for this game. Let's go. So that's what I did for us. Um, I think that there could have been a lot more publicity or promo from the top, you know. Um, Connecticut had announced that we were having this game probably over, almost a year ago, maybe. I don't know. Sometime after, right after last season. So there was ample time to do 
what needed to be done. Um, but it didn't matter anyway, because they showed up and it was sold out. We got the dub, so I guess my tweet worked. <laughs> and the game should have been on a national television broadcast. You shouldn't have to pay for uh, any type of um, subscription to see a game that's this historic, uh, in my opinion. I'm biased, but in my opinion. <laughs> What was it like to hear the fans? I mean, you guys have such a solid base in Connecticut, but then to see it amplified on to, to this extreme. Yeah, it means another level. Um, I, I think when they started chanting "Beat LA," uh, we all just kind of looked around, like you know, this is a, a crazy historic moment, and um, to be a part of it after being with this franchise for so long, um, I'm just super excited. About it. Now, I have to agree with DJ Character about these games being behind paywalls. They shouldn't be behind paywalls. You want the WNBA to grow? Put the game on regular TV. This was the first game in history at TD Garden, an NBA stadium that sold out. Caitlin Clark did it down there um, where they switched the game with Atlanta Dream to the Atlanta Falcons stadium. It was sold out. So we have to highlight not just Caitlin Clark moments, but we have to highlight other historic moments in the WNBA as well, even if it doesn't involve Indiana Fever and Caitlin Clark, because that's how it's going to grow to where down is going to be more than just Caitlin Clark being the most popular player. And this was a big moment, but like I say, the game wasn't even televised. And I'd have to just be honest with you if this was a Caitlin Clark game sold out making history, it would have been on TV calling the spade a spade. This game should have been on prime television. It shouldn't have been on no paywall, no peacock, all this kind of stuff. Where you, it shouldn't have been that. It should have been on a national televised channel where everybody also can tune in for the views. And it's almost like the WNBA is like they're dropping the ball like New Year's Eve. How you don't have this game that sold out in Boston, not on TV? But y'all get in the comments, tell me what y'all think. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and share this video. Also hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop another video. And also follow my social media at GertieMac15. Holla.